Alright, welcome back to Valhalla Kids! And yes, I started this series in a little bit late, April 7th, and now it's a little bit later than April 7th, but uh, whatever. Which is the most recent one here? I guess that one. So, we gotta avenge our destroyed booth for the thing. Just as Gabby should be gone by the time we go back to the auditorium. Okay. Let's go back to base. I heard there's some secrets with Glitch Girl and stuff in this. I don't know if I will get them. Talk to the walls. Hello, walls. You're not a wall. You're not a wall at all. You're a cat. Um, that goes great in here, isn't it? All right. <laughs> I think I already went here, so. Go to the auditorium, maybe. Yep, Gabby's gone. Oh, Gabby's gone. Let's check the auditorium. Um, look in the auditorium. What are we gonna find? <laughs> Watch me find out. This is like five minutes. <laughs> look at that G mod. Look at that. Look at this glorious G modness. I know what you did there. Hmm. Well, that's one hell of a. Oh. End my life. Parker. Parker, I need you to kill me. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, honey. You wanna say hi? Yes, hi. <sighs> yeah, I knew she would show up at some point. Big hole! At least you've got a voice that I can remember how to do. Yoohoo, Dana! You come to see the big hole, too? Yeah, I came to investigate this place, but I didn't expect this. Investigate? What you investigating? Tell me, tell me! Uh, well... This sounds like a, this is a bit of a long story. Kind of well. Let's look at my classroom, it's way cooler there. Sure. Dorothy told me to meet her at the classroom. Alright, look. Hole. What do you mean, the, the plot thickens? What, what do you mean hole? It's just a room. I'm not, is, is, is there supposed to be a hole here? Or is it just the fact that the room is empty makes it a hole? I'm confused. <sighs> Let's regret everything and talk to Dorothy. It's a cartoon meat! On the floor! Dun dun dun. Oh yeah, that. The weirdest thing happened. A kebab just went and crashed through the window. You okay, Dana? Can I keep it? It's, it's flo floor meat. Delicious. If you don't care where it's been, sure. Floor meat mixed with glass. Oh, this window, this is clearly G- I think I probably mentioned how Gmod this obviously is, but whatever. So tell me, who's with you at the auditorium? You saw someone else? Don't play stupid. I bet you were gonna indulge in some steamy action before seeing the hole. You've lost me. I think she saw- Glitch girl. Crap, what's her name? Anna? Ah, been a while. There's some ways to see her, and I don't know if you get like a super secret ending, but if I don't see, if I don't see Glitch girl, and there's some easily remediable way to do such, and it's like worth a separate video, go ahead and let me know, I guess. So you weren't in the auditorium to make out? You were actually investigating? Well, yeah. And here I thought, honey, finally fit the jackpot. Honey! So I gotta say it like that. Dorothy, please explain what the hell you're on about. Actually, please don't. Can we just leave and forget any of this happened? You know, our our, our thing is, our booth is not really worth this. God damn it. <clears throat> Six. People go out of time to make out, to eat each other. So I thought the hole deterred you from exploring other holes. Yeah, no. Aw. So what were you investigating? I like how Dana just has 0% tolerance for her bullshit as opposed to Jill, who just encouraged her. That's right, Parker. Yes, hello. Yes, hi. Yes. What you said, please. <laughs> Is this canon for the Valhalla universe, by the way? I need to know from my from my fan fictions what, what is canon. 
science project got destroyed. It was stored there. You think the ceiling crushed it? I thought someone crushed it. But the ceiling didn't just disappear. I heard they were clearing away rubble and debris before. The ceiling was clearly there though. I don't know what they're talking about. To be honest, I'd be more worried if somebody got hurt. Do I even take along for a bit? I really do. I'm kind of bored to be honest. Only if I can take the kebab with me. Parker, <laughs> would you not do that, honey? I have to capture this with my full screen thing. So that's why that happened. I, I've i been having issues with, with full screen things in OBS lately. I don't know if they changed something, but whatever. Sure. Let's check on everyone see if somebody's hurt. I just realized that this voice is basically female Greg. Even though Greg came after. I like Greg better though. Try to check on people, see if anyone's hurt. <laughs> My ability to do even vaguely feminine voices is very low. Um, let's go back to base just because. She's supposed to. Glitch Girl is supposed to show up in places what you did not need to be. If you, you know what I mean. Hello, hello! Dorothy? Hey, Stella, look at this. I just cleaned this place and you bring a friggin' kebab in here? It was so lonely by itself. Are you, are you just gonna eat that or are you just carrying that around? Why do you have a sword? I just noticed that. <laughs> For purpose. I, they did not allow swords in my high school. They even banned backpacks because, you know, you might have some guns or some weed or some gun weed in there. Where did you get it anyways? They crashed through a window. Sure, why not? Poor Stella. I emphasize, this is my face right now. It stays then. No, I didn't mean, ah, uh, never mind. I did my part, whatever happens after is not my problem. She's supposed to have a posh voice. I keep forgetting to do the voices. What's up, Stella? So you're really cleaning the place? Yeah. Oh, wow, you're really that much of a maniac. Because no good deed must go unpaid. Stella was helping me find whoever wrecked size project, so I had to repay her somehow. Oh, so that's what that was about. I thought you were just a clean freak. Speaking of freaks, what's up with the case? Well, we may not be dealing with an attack against Sai. There's a high chance it was just a contrived accident. I don't know the possibility of an attack, but right now it seems unlikely. So that's what the attacker wants you to think. Hmm. She's suspicious. I like it. I can't talk to the walls anymore. Let's go to the yard. I forgot, we have like... We can do save states. I, I, I must have known... I, I just must have forgot. That, wait, what the hell? Did my menu... Oh, it didn't disappear. It just is unreadable in the screen. Talk. Oh, Psy and Betty are here. Why don't, why don't they just like icons? I mean, it was like a Maple Fool's Day joke thing, but... Whatever. Yes, yes. <laughs> so when you found the booth, did it have debris on it? Yeah. So the ceiling did collapse on top of it. Why didn't you tell me this before? I tried to, but you were so focused on finding a culprit, I wasn't able to. Dana. God damn it, Dana. Dana, Dana, Dana. <sighs> and here I wanted to punch someone. Now I just want to kick myself. That would be difficult. I'm kind of worried someone might have been hurt, you know? Me too! Come on, Dana, you still have one more duty. <sighs> Whatever. What were you buying before, by the way? Oh, you know, the basics. Wait, bet she is here? I don't remember you being here. How does that jacket stay on in this situation? Oh, you know, the basics. Glue, nails, paper, markers, booze. What was that last one? Markers. Ah, oh, kids. Um, classroom seven two. Shouldn't it be classroom six nine? Oh, never mind. Wait, isn't this base? Is this not the base with the different? Oh, whatever. It's just the same picture. Um, yeah. Let's go to the. Oh wait, let's go to the entrance first. I just I wanted to see Glitch Girl, and I'm doing really badly at it. Dorothy! I'm a sidekick! So where's Gabby? She went home. By herself? 
Her sister came. Dorothy has a s oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Hey, Alma, what do you know about what they do in the auditorium? I uh, don't do no. <laughs> Dorothy, god damn it. Uh, I might have started that unwittingly. Really? So I was talking to Lara from Class C, and we started talking about romance novels. I learned one of mine said there was a climactic scene in the auditorium. Lara told me about what she did trying to imitate the book and well. You know how these things go. A friend of a friend hears a rumor, and then before you know it, an urban legend pops up. See, like romance novels? She is way more chill in this than she is in the main game. Which is kind of funny since it's like a joke parody kind of situation. I'm honestly not. I'm honestly not sure how this like works as like a joke. It's just kind of like a random side game, but I guess that's better than just like a dumb joke. Hmm. <laughs> Jill got me into them. Yeah. Uh. What's up, Jill? <laughs> so, Jill, want to check out the whole auditorium? Oh my God! Are you really ready to check out her whole auditorium? Leave. I just leave. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, it's not mine, really. She's not inviting you to check out someone else. She's inviting you to the time to check out someone else's soul. Ahem. <laughs> this entire video should just be this face zoomed in to 200% size, covering the whole screen. Are well, you gonna take the chance of a lifetime or not, honey? She hasn't been saying honey enough. You're having too much of a fucking laugh. <laughs> I'm not hearing you now. Go away, Dorothy, please. Uh, look. What do we have here? A girl I expect might have lied about her actual age. What about bruises? I see something resembling a red spot on her neck. You're looking too much. <clears throat> Alright, uh... It's an auditorium, I guess. <sighs> I hate this auditorium's name so much, by the way. By the way, this is not how doors... What, what, what happened here? This... <laughs> Did whoever made this game ever actually see, like, a door? But no, whatever. Check on people, whatever. What is this? Why do you have to look to go inside it? What are you looking at, Parker? He sees the demons. They're on the ceiling this time. I just don't know what they mean by a hole. This is just looks like... This is just a room. Wait, there's, there's nothing here. What? Wait, what? Have we not been to everywhere? Wait, maybe the schoolyard. <laughs> this is a hell of a yard, by the way. It's like... Concrete wooden planks? Like, what? what is this? It looks like hardwood, but also it looks like concrete. Like... Whatever. Have I not talked to everybody? I, I could swear I've talked... Oh, there's the... Poster thing. Oops, sorry, Parker. Um, Stella, please save me from this madness. Have you found anything? There's no case. The ceiling collapsed on top of the booth. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the attacker. It's over, Stella. <sighs> Why didn't she tell us? She, we tried. She tried. We didn't give her a chance. Well, gotta go. Where? Help Psy, what else? Okay. Where was Psy again? The yard? <laughs> so this is no mystery after all of this. Well, we did do our best. Yeah. What's up, Psy? I do appreciate everything you've done. If you smell anything weird, it's the markers. <laughs> Okay. Teenage alcoholic, that's always hilarious. Uh, entrance? Is, is this the game over and this is like post-game? Or I don't know what's going on here. Fabula the 13th is too sappy for my taste. Fabula the 12th reached a nice spot. Sweet spot. Okay. Where's a kid when you need one? What are you talking about? She's having problems. Look. 
Okay, Dorothy Analyzer. Huh? She'll grow into a damn fine woman as long as she keeps a good diet. What about bruises? The edges of her eyes look a bit red. That's because she was crying a bit before. The bruises were in her heart all along! Nah, nothing so serious. I guess we're just having, using Dorothy to analyze everybody, I guess. And I think she looked with a ponytail. I have a theory that Jin's twin tails are actually some manner of power limiter. Okay. Let me know if you see any other red spot, though. Alright, so I think I guess we're analyzing everybody with sex butt McGee over here. Well, we did our best. Yeah. But no, I said look, not talk. What do you think, Dorothy? She looks cuter than, since she went back to wearing a female uniform. True, but what about bruises? None that look fresh enough. You said something? We're just steering you on. Go, so I go. So what do we see here? Huh? A nice body and extravagant look that distracts us from the level-headed girl in her knee. What about bruises? Oh, we're looking for bruises. None. Not even any dirt. I'm impressed. Crush booth. Whoa, it's getting done fast. Extra hands go a long way. Hmm. Eh? <laughs> what do you smell, Dorothy? An answer. Something wrong. How did you get these wounds? I tripped on my I tripped on my way here. Look at her like hypnosis eyes. When? When I was buying stuff for Sai. She's got plus minus things. Did she have that kind of deal before? I like her outfit. How long ago? Ah. Uh, <gasps> Dun dun dun! Was she the she, she the culprit? It was like an hour ago or something. I have so many questions. Those bruises should be fresher. Er, unless you tripped down some stairs, you wouldn't be so wounded. She smashed through the ceiling. She's the freaking Hulk. That's her secret, Cap. <laughs> oh no. Um. I was gonna make out with Vero when the roof fell and oh my god. What was P.O. 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 Why are there chickens exploding outwardly from eggs? What is this? Oh, I guess the like dismantled like die thing was supposed to be like a hint that something had happened, I, I guess. I tripped on size project running away and I crushed it and now I'm sad and hurt and horny and... <laughs> Oh my god, you dumb girl. Why didn't you just get some help for those wounds? I, uh... I'm sorry, Sai. I didn't want to do it. I... Well, you didn't really crush it intentionally. If you did that, it'd be harder for me, but... I'm also worried about you. You could, could have seriously died there. <sighs> didn't you say the booth had rubble and debris on it? That was probably there before I fell on it. Hmm. Well... I guess it's a mystery solved. Why the ceiling collapse though? And where did the kebab come from? Mystery solved. Anyway, need some help, Sai? I do actually. All right, count me in. Me too. <laughs> I could have finished this in like 20 minutes, huh? I, I kind of figured that would be the case, but whatever. Sometimes these things happen. Heck, I've got games in my backlog that I was supposed to have played years ago. Okay, I'd be... But we didn't finish it today. All the time, we could have been helping instead of... S Sai, instead of chasing shadows. Sorry. Like Sai said, it's not like you did it on purpose. Hey, Sai. Thank you so much! Aww. Ah, uh, so bright. <laughs> I was worried I couldn't finish on time, but you were all helped me out so much. I couldn't just get up back to speed. I was having a lot of fun, too. Heh. <laughs> we'll come in for tomorrow, too. Me, too. And me. Everything turned out okay in the end, thankfully. Aw, oh, look at her little happy ears! I say we celebrate with meat! Why didn't you get it back? No snide comment from you? I'm almost disappointed. I went to the bathroom. You washed your hands, right? Of course! When? No more questions. Is that thing even cooked? Of course. 
just take a bite and... There's paper. You found it on the floor. I'm surprised there's only paper on it. Does it say anything? Sorry, voices. We have taken your friend Iris captive. Come to the pier alone. Wait, what? To be continued. What do you mean? What? I don't... I don't think that's a... What? <laughs> I don't think... I think that's just like a parody of like... Things. I think... I think that's actually the end. I don't think Iris is like a person in the thing. Right. I can right click to go back to this thing. Um, so yeah, we didn't find Glitch Girl. You can see her portrait here. I don't know what that was about, but... If I missed something particularly significant... Go ahead and let me know. But, uh, otherwise. That's Valhalla Kids. And, uh, <laughs> that was fun for a cute little April Fool's joke thing. I wish more things had, like, proper April Fool's joke, like, standalone games or, like, a mode. And, like, let people access the game after, like, the mode or whatever after. I hate when games have, like, a time limited, like, oh, during Halloween you can, like, shoot pumpkins or something, or, like, it's a cool new game mode or game type and then it's gone forever after Halloween ends and it's like no just put it in an options menu or something don't don't go all through all that work to make something cool and then don't let people play it that sucks but yeah that's for all kids and I don't think it's <laughs> probably not more forthcoming but uh, I'm it's cool that the creator of the is still making stuff I don't know if this is any kind of hint that maybe the series would still be a, a thing or that it would be a series, rather. I mean, I get this two games now, even if one's a joke. It's still a series, right? Whatever. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And let me know if, excuse me, if there's any cool stuff that I missed that's worth a video. I don't know how big of a deal it was, and I didn't want to look it up because, you know, spoilerinos, but yeah.